versus Danny Garcia. A man that he is the current UFC bantamweight champion of the world. She's an incredible power puncher. She's got insane power. She smashes her opponents. In her recent fight versus Raquel Pennington, she left a bloody masterpiece. She smashed the nose of Raquel Pennington in that fifth round, and Raquel had to crumble. The Lioness is a true power puncher. She has some of the greatest shots we've ever seen in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. She's the greatest bantamweight possibly of all time. She smashed Ronda Rousey, and she's won all her fights since then. And she does it in extraordinary fashion. She really obliterates her opponent and proves to the fans that she is a powerful 135er. It might be the best of all time. But the sad thing about Amanda Nunes is that a lot of the fans just don't care. And her numbers have been plummeting badly. It's truly sad that a fighter this great can't sell fights. And she has an amazing promoter. Dana White is a true genius. He's always been the guy who sold mixed martial arts to masses. Dana White is MMA, and UFC is MMA. And he just can't seem to sell Amanda Nunes. Gabby Garcia is a true anomaly. She is her own marketing machine. When Gabby Garcia fights, Everybody looks. She's an anomaly. There's nobody else out there like Gabby Garcia. She has her own division, which is just huge. Women all over the world are entering it to fight Gabby Garcia. Everybody wants to fight Gabby Garcia because Gabby Garcia can market a fight just by showing up. It doesn't matter who her opponent is, they're going to be watched if they fight Gabby Garcia. And Gabby Garcia is undefeated. Now, if you look at the contrast here, you've got a girl who doesn't even have a great promoter, who just does amazingly, versus a woman with the most amazing promoter of all time, who just really can't sell pay-per-views. Dana White needs to do something. He needs to do something dramatic, and this is the one to do it. Amanda Nunes needs help. If Amanda Nunes is marketed as this basher, this smasher, who can go out and take out the biggest woman, the most powerful woman, in the world and actually do it and it's seen on YouTube. She does beat Gabby Garcia because I think Amanda Nunes would be the favorite in this fight. She would be tremendously smaller. Amanda Nunes has fought at 145 pounds before. She could probably be 165 pounds. I really want to ask the fan that. How big do you think Amanda Nunes could weigh in in a fight with Gabby Garcia? Now Gabby Garcia is six foot two and she's something like 236 pounds. She's a, she's a mega monster. And she has nine gold medals in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championship. She also has three gold medals in the Abu Dhabi Championship. So she's got 12 gold medals and she's huge. You can't, you can't submit Gabby Garcia, especially when you have her size. It's not gonna happen. You need to knock Gabby out. And that's just what the Lioness can do. You can see the, a huge woman versus a smaller woman. And we just haven't seen it would be its own anomaly. It would be the first time. It would be something tremendously different. And I know there's different rule structures in Japan. We've seen these fights happen before. I'm not a lawyer. Dana White's a genius who knows all this stuff. Dana, put this fight together. Do something different. Give Amanda Nunes a chance. People are bored by her division. I want to ask you guys, the fans, if that's true. Is that true? Are you bored of Amanda Nunes at 135 pounds fighting Raquel Pennington again or somebody else like that? Do you want to see something different? Something to wake up the fan? Ronda Rousey sold mega, mega pay-per-views. Dana White needs Amanda Nunes to do the same thing. Gabby Garcia versus Amanda Nunes. How great would this fight be? And who would win? I want to ask the fan. How do you feel about this and who would win?